All right, so today we're going to be going through Google Docs. I'll just show you kind of how to get there. I've got it right here, but what you can do, just search Google Docs. I'll take you right here, Google Docs. Just click on that there. And the way you, the way you get in here basically is to log in through a Gmail account. So if you don't have a Gmail account, that's the first thing you'll need to do. There's a lot of great resources and stuff associated with Gmail. I would recommend it. I use it for pretty much everything. Uh, the Docs is a great resource because I've been able to collaborate documents with stuff. If I ever have anything that people need to read, it's a really great resource because I can just email it to them. They can read it and they can even... Uh, they can even edit it as well. Um, it just kind of depends. So what you'll do, you log in. You can see here, it just automatically logs me into my account here. Um, and so for this, for the assignment that these kids will be doing, um, basically all they'll need to do is hit form a blank document here. Um, and the cool thing about Google Docs is it saves everything as soon as you do it. So you never have to kick click save you never have to worry if it's going to be saved or not it'll, it'll always be there and the other cool thing is the students and anyone can access this document from anywhere where there's internet so you don't have to be on your computer like a word document or whatever it's always on the internet and you just log in you'll be able to access it and everything else that way and so a couple things um, I mean the, the assignment is pretty self-explanatory they'll be able to do it and um, but the reason I recommend Google Docs is because they'll be able to work on this um, pretty easily that way they can title it you know just animal production it's kind of what this assignments about um, but other than that uh, the cool part is and this is what they'll have you do in the in the student groups um, what they can do one student will be in charge of logging into this, so that'll that'll all work out perfect. And then um, the the only thing they'll do, um, they'll just hit share here. And so, in order to share it with the other students in their group, all they have to do is enter their email address right in this window here. Um, so you'll just enter any address in there. Uh, hit done. Um, and here. What you can do is actually choose uh, what their role is with this assignment. And so you, they want to be sure to choose can edit because all the students want to be able to edit the document so that they can all work on it together that way. And then, um, yeah, so that's what you do. You add the email address, you hit done. Um, that will send the, the other students an invitation to edit the document and so that way all the students can access the document they can all work on the assignment at home or wherever else and then when they're in the classroom they can all be on their own either device or computer that way whatever you have access to and so all the students will be able to work on it um, it's basically got all the same stuff as word um, it's really easy to navigate I mean copy paste insert all that stuff all kinds of different font styles and things like that uh, and so that's basically all I've got for you I mean this is a great resource I'd really recommend Google Docs the other cool thing is I mean you don't have to just do Docs uh, Google has all these different these different resources here you got Docs, Sheets, Slides and I mean it's basically like having PowerPoint and all that stuff but it's free it's online um, so you never have to worry about losing everything or anything and that's that's why I like it so you guys enjoy uh, hopefully this was helpful